everyone, I just want to give you a little overview of the book that I'm calling the Far La La Folio, which we will be making together in the Facebook group Crafting Together with All Brands. So make sure you go and have a look and join. It's an amazing group full of amazing crafters doing lots and lots of lives on every subject you can think of. So there's definitely something for everyone. I'm going to be making a folio with you all. This is going to take place over a series of Fridays starting um, this Friday, which I think is the 20th of November. But don't worry if you miss a class because the um, lives will be saved in the group for you to go back to. So a little bit of information about the folio. It's just under A4 size um, and this is uh, English A4. So that is eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarter inches. Um, it is a folio, so it's got soft uh, spines um, and it is quite thick and it rolls out quite a lot. So it's going to take place over a number of weeks, starting at 7.30 p.m., GMT every Friday. So on the front, what we've got, we've got a couple of pockets here. The papers that I've used are Far La La by um, Bella Boulevard, but you can use any papers at all for this. Um, it's a folio that lends itself to any occasion. So whether you want to do a Christmas book, whether you want to do a wedding book, whether you just want to use some of your stash, it doesn't matter. It's all good. It will hold a truckload of photos. Not quite sure how many, but quite a lot. So I'm not going to be able to get this all in one kind of um, frame, but when you open it up, the first thing that you see here is just a little pull out bit where we've got space for photos. We've got photo mats here in a, um, a pocket. Open it up. We've got a couple of pockets here that flip and flap because, you know, that's fun. A um, little pocket there open that up to that side and then that just slips into that belly band there so I like to have things that pull out so on this side now I've only done the photo mats on one side I haven't finished them on the other because there was quite a lot to make um but I've used uh, my photo mats here just to secure uh, this little um place for photo mats there so a little a little pocket with a um sort of a flap over a closure you open that up and then what you've got here is you've got another um, flap with a stack pocket which will open up again and this will give you a place for photo mats here photo mats again and a little slanted pocket underneath fold those up and what we've got here is a little acetate pocket open that up more of um, our, our big pockets for photo mats and photo mats and uh, pockets there. Now, if you open it up the other way, what you're going to see is exactly the same on this side. So once again, what we've got is we've got our uh, photo mats and we've got our covered pocket. Open that up. And like I said, I haven't quite finished uh, these photo mats off yet, but we've got the stack pockets there opening it up once again. Um, and it, it is symmetrical. So what you'll see is the same on on both sides. Now, here in the middle, what we've got is a, a belly band uh, with a place to put photo mats underneath and photo mats here in a pocket. Open that up. And what we've got is another pocket and space for photo mats. So it's a really large folio. It takes quite a lot of um paper to be brutally honest with you but like I said it can be used for any occasion at all so do come and join me absolutely free to take part in the crafting together with all brands facebook group from 7 30 p.m gmt on friday the 20th of november and i'll see you guys soon thanks for joining me bye